Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So there was a murder today at the end of the street I'm living on. Can you believe that shit? A fucking murder at the end of the street I'm living on. Fucking not even a one minute walk away, someone was murdered this evening. So I went down to check out the crime scene and get a selfie with the body, but they'd taken the body away already. So there was a car there, like a van, and it was cordoned off by the police, and there were two dudes fingerprinting the car. And you know, I had always wondered about that. I always wondered what their CSI type shit was here, because I never pictured a very thorough investigation into crimes. But there they were, taking fingerprints, smoking darts, looking for the murderer. I always just assumed they just blamed the closest person. Whoever's closest is guilty. So apparently what happened, and this is the best information we've got so far, because every single Indian in the whole suburb has their own theory on what happened. And that's a lot of fucking theories. But what seems to have happened is there was some type of dispute over real estate. I don't know who the fuck came up with that, because one guy's dead, and the other guy's almost dead in hospital. The other guy that was in the car. So what happened was, there was some sort of dispute, there was a fight, and then they pulled the guy who was eventually murdered out of the car, and then just stabbed him to death on the street. And there doesn't seem to be any fucking witnesses. I can't have my balls out in my own room for longer than 13 seconds without someone looking in the window staring directly at them while I dry them. But somehow there's been a homicide in the street... And no one was on the street at the time. Somehow, we weren't out there. None of the neighbors were out there. The auntie who lives directly where the murder happened, she didn't see anything. She didn't hear anything. It is very fucking strange because Indians will have a head-on collision with a truck just to see what's going on in the next car. They really enjoy a fucking look, it seems to be, unless there's a murder. I understand it as well. If there was a murder going down, I would just go back inside to avoid the hassle. Who wants to be a witness to a murder? What a fucking pain in the ass that would be. I'm not talking about seeing the murder. Who gives a shit about that? I'm talking about being a witness against someone you already know is pretty okay with murdering. Hey, just wondering if you're going to be alright to testify against the murderer you saw with your own two eyes stab two people to death in the street and then lick the blade afterwards and he also knows where you live because he saw you in the front yard watching are you cool with that you're fine with that and then for some reason if you are all right with that you still got to go to court and sit in the witness box as the lawyer asks you do you see the murderer in this room and then you point to the murderer and then he just holds up a photo of your kids and runs his finger across his throat. What a fucking nightmare that would be. I don't want to be a witness to a fucking murder ever. I mean, I don't want to be a single witness to the murder. I don't want to be the only witness to a murder. I don't mind being like one of 25 witnesses. That would be okay. Like some sort of public beheading or something like that. That would be fine because there's 25 of you. They can't possibly kill all 25 of you. The worst they can do is kill maybe like four or five of the 25 witnesses to send a message. And what's the odds there? It's like 20 something percent chance you're going to be one of the witnesses that gets murdered. That's all right. I can deal with that. But if you're the single, lone, solitary witness, that would be a problem. But anyway, more details about this murder will be coming because it'll be on the news in the morning. We'll see what they say and I'll keep you updated on what happened. And that's just about it for tonight. Was there anything else? No, there was actually nothing else. Now, I want to say murder is never good. It's not good. It's very bad. But it kind of came at a good time today. (laughs) I hadn't really done much today and I was really going to struggle for anything to say. And what happens? Murder. Perfect. I mean, tragedy. It's a fucking tragedy, of course. But I've got five minutes to fill and I had nothing. So, silver lining. He did not die in vain. All right, that is it for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, 
Give it a share around with your friends. Hit me up on social media. I am Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see ya the fuck later.